Hello guys, it's Krista. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I wanted to hop on. I have a Scentsy haul of wax to share with you guys. I'm very excited. Um, I have sniffed all of these already. Um, I've had this order since like last week. Um, I did do a like in and out kind of club. I just did a one and done. Um, mainly because I wanted to try some of the new scents that came out for this fall and winter. Um, but I wanted to try some of the Harvest collection that came out, some of the uh, new releases that came out for this new catalog here. I don't know. I just kind of wanted to try a bunch of different scents and I figured that would probably be the easiest way to do it. So I decided to just do a one and done club. Um, I did spend the $60. That's the U.S. pricing. Um, and I got a half price like credit. So I did get a brick and I'll talk about that when I get to it. Um, I think I'm going to start first with the two, the two like repeat scents. These are scents that I've already had before and I've warmed them already and I know I love them. So the first one here we have is a fluffy fleece. If you guys know, I probably have mentioned this quite a few times in videos. I think I've hauled this before. Um, I did have a brick of it back when the bricks were a thing. I think I got one like in clearance or something, but I loved this scent and I'm still obsessed with it. So I wanted to get a like a repurchase of it because currently I only have this one bar. I don't have any other bars of it. Um, I just... I love it so much that I kind of continuously warm it. So I think I do have a club processing, I think this month or next month, I can't remember. I'm gonna have to double check on that. Um, but when it goes through, I think I might add one more or two more bars just to be safe. I'm at least happy though that this is going to be around for like, you know, months. So I don't have to worry about it too, too much. It's gonna be available still. But I love this one. Fluffy Fleece is very fresh. It's kind of cozy. It's, what are the scent notes? I believe it's Black Currant, Musk, and I think Heliotrope. It It's kind of laundry leaning, but I don't think it's too, too laundry. Um, I just think it's beautiful. I think it's really pretty. I like the scent for days when I'm cleaning or if we're having company over. I just think this is a very kind of cozy, comforting clean scent. I think it's beautiful. So I decided to get another bar of that. So I have it in my collection again. And I'm sorry if I just shook the camera. I just hit my tripod. Um, the next one I picked up is Winterberry Apple Tea. This one I'm very happy it returned because I didn't club this one initially because I thought, you know what, it's got to come back. But then towards towards the like transition of the new catalog, I was like, oh my god, like watch it be one that's not coming back. And it is, it's returned, it's come back, Winterberry Apple Tea. I just think it's a really pretty cozy scent. I think this one is one, I don't know if I would club it, but I would at least stock up on it, like get a handful of bars to have because it's so pretty. It is, it's just so like cozy, it has a subtle spice to it. I did write notes in here. So this one is Winter Tea, Cranberry, Apple, and Honey. And I feel like even if you don't like honey, you would still like this bar. I don't think the honey is too, too like strong in this one. It doesn't come off like straight up honey to me or anything. To my nose, it's mostly like, like a tea, like cranberry, apple. And I know in the notes here, it doesn't state that there's like a spice, but to me, there's like a subtle spice in here. So I don't know if that spice is coming from the apples. I don't know if it's coming from the tea, but oh, it's just warm and cozy. I love this one. So this one is just one I like to have for fall, but even into the winter months, perfect for the winter too. I think it's just really cozy and really good, really yummy. So I liked this one and I wanted to get another um, one to have in my collection because that is another one. I don't have any of it in my collection until now. So I wanted to get more. So these next three bars, these are bars that have been around for a little bit of time. I think one of them is like fairly new, I guess you could say. It's been around for maybe a year, maybe two. Um, and then the other two have definitely been around for a hot minute. I am so like delayed in trying 
these two specific scents. Um, but the one that I want to talk about first is this one, which is, I think this was new in 2021, I believe. Or was it last year? Like last fall and winter? I can't remember. It might have been new last year then, maybe 2022. It might have been. I'm forgetting. Um, but this one is White Amber and Silk. And this one, I've heard so many people rave about this one, especially Lacey of Morrison Blue. I know she's like all over this one. This is a favorite of hers. And it is really, really good. So the notes, let's see. Okay, it's warm amber, bergamot, and comforting cotton. Definitely a laundry leaning scent. Another one that's not too, too laundry to my nose. I don't think, you know, I don't smell this and think like, you know, oh my God, that's overwhelming. It's definitely not. It's very just kind of, it's almost feminine to my nose. I don't know why I get that. I don't know if that's the amber with the cotton maybe. It's, it's just like a stunning scent. It's really, really pretty. Definitely laundry, but again, it's not anything that's overwhelming. It's just a really kind of like comforting laundry, if that makes sense. I like it. Like to me, it's almost kind of, not that these are similar at all, they're not, but it kind of almost gives me the same feeling. Like it's like kind of cozy, but it's just a really just beautiful laundry. Like this one, I could see us warming in our bedroom maybe. Um, I would try it in the open area here, but I'm not really sure on performance. So if anyone is familiar, I know I'll, some of you out there have warmed this one. So let me know what your thoughts are. Where do you recommend I warm this one? I, again, it's new to me, so I haven't really, you know, tested this out before. It just gives me like cozy bedroom vibes. And it's just, it's also just clean and feminine and pretty to me. I really like this. It's really, really nice. I do. I really like that. So that's white, amber, and silk. So this one, I think, like I said, was new last year or the year prior. Um, and it did come back. So I was happy to see that that's available again as well. So I wanted to try a bar of that one. And then these two. <laughs> so yeah, these have been around for a very long while. I know I've heard so many people talk about these scents. Um, I've been into Scentsy and like watching Scentsy videos and hearing about Scentsy since like 2021. Um, so, I mean, I'm still fairly new into the Scentsy world, in my opinion. Like I've only been in love with Scentsy for a couple years. Um, but these two scents I have heard so, so, so many people <laughs> talk about nonstop. I've heard so many great things. Um, I don't know why I never brought myself to order these. I don't know if it's just because I know new stuff is always coming out. So I've just been like, you know, gravitating towards the new and like the limited time offer. I don't really understand why I've never tried these. So that is another reason why I did this order because I just really wanted to add in some scents that like, I just really wanted to finally get my hands on and try. So I'll start with this one. This one is Silver Bells. Silver Bells. I remember I think some people were a little nervous that this wasn't going to come back so I actually clubbed this um because I like knew I wanted to try it and I was afraid it wasn't going to come back but um I hadn't received my club yet I think I skipped a week a month or something I skipped one of my clubs so I didn't end up getting it but then I found it was coming back so I was like okay it's coming back I don't even need it in the club then so I took it out so here we are, we're finally going to try this one, Silver Bells. It has notes of minty candy canes, winter pear, caramel, and vanilla sugar. And this is very unique to me. It kind of reminds me of something, but I cannot, for the life of me, pinpoint what it makes me think of. It like takes me to something, and I wish I could pinpoint what that is, but I can't at all and it, it's been bugging me seriously since i opened the box and sniffed for this i've been like oh my god what does that smell like i don't know if it ever comes to me i'll have to mention it in a video because it's literally it drives me bonkers but 
It's a really pretty scent though. So you definitely get the minty note. I get it more so on like the bottom here of the bar. I get more so the pear with like the caramel with like that minty in the background, but it's really, really pretty. I think the reason why I didn't really gravitate towards this bar to begin with was because it has caramel in the notes and I'm not really one to like, I don't know, caramel makes me nervous sometimes. Like I do get, you know, blends with it. I'll order some melts that do have caramel, but it's not like the first thing that I jump to. I kind of gravitate towards some other scents over stuff that has caramel in it. It also has pear. That's another kind of scent note that I don't buy a ton of. So I think that's part of why I just kind of skipped over this one and never really gave it a fair shot until now. Um, yeah, I'm excited though. I know a ton of people love this scent. I know it's a very popular, it's a popular one. It's loved by so many. So I'm excited to finally have a bar and to finally try it. So that is Silver Bells. And also, if anyone has any blending suggestions for any of these bars that I mentioned, please let me know. I've been kind of wanting to experiment with more blending. I've been trying to do it a little bit here and there with some of my Scentsy bars. So let me know if you have some blending suggestions. Um, I know, I think it's Angie Smith. I watch her. Um, I know she does some good blends. She does a lot of experimenting with blending. Um, I think Melissa Johnson hate, she does a lot of like blends and stuff. So I gotta just, I gotta watch some videos. I gotta jot some down and figure out some good blending combos. Um, so this next one, I was terrified of this one, never wanting to order it. I just had it in my, in my brain that like, no, that's just not going to be for you. Just don't worry about it. Like but lately, I've been getting in to woodsy, smoky, I don't know, I've been getting into a lot of those scents. So woodsy and smoky, never in a million years did I think I would be like all into those scents, but I really have come to love them. So I decided to jump and get this one to try, especially because it came back and you know, I don't know if it'll ever, you know what I mean? It could be here this winter and f like this fall and winter and the next year it could go away like you just never know what scentsy things change all the time so I was like just get it now while it's available try it that's around the campfire I was just a little hesitant because I thought it was going to be like over the top smoky which I don't mind smoky but sometimes it's a little too much but I'm surprised. This one I actually don't mind and I'm just pleasantly surprised. I actually like this one. I don't know. I don't know if it's one that I would have to like club. I don't think it's like, you know, love at first sight, you know, on cold sniff, but it's a really pretty like deep, creamy, smoky scent. I did write the notes. This one is it's mountain air, fresh fallen wood, and smoky embers. Yeah, you get the smoky, but there's like this added sweet, creamy. Oh, it's so pretty. Literally, this smells like you're around a campfire. For sure. Oh my God, but it's not overly smoky to me, at least to my nose, and I'm shocked. I'm shocked by that, but I think it's really, really kind of unique. I think it's really pretty. I think for this fall time here, but even in the winter, this would be really cozy, really warm. I'm excited. So this one, I definitely want to try on its own, but I almost, I almost have the urge to blend this, like maybe with some apple or like winterberry apple tea or I don't know pumpkin the sky's the limit you can blend and do whatever but this one just gets me excited and I'm really looking forward to this one like out of all of the bars this one is probably the one that I'm like just the most excited for because I'm not terrified <laughs> I'm not terrified of this bar like I once was but it smells really really pretty all right, guys, so moving in to the next little bit here. So I got a couple of the Harvest ones. Um, I think I got two of them. I'm trying to remember what's part of the Harvest bundle and what's like part of the new release, like 10 that came out this fall and winter. So I think I'm just going to kind of run with it, see if, 
see if this is right. So the first one here is White Pumpkin and Driftwood. And I want to point out that I have little labels on some of my bars. So Michelle on YouTube, I believe her channel's Memories and Melts. Michelle's like super sweet. She's so nice. Love her videos. I just love talking to her. She's just, again, the sweetest human. Um, she has a sticker shop actually as well. I don't know if everyone knows that, but she has a sticker shop. And recently she has added, hopefully it's somewhat in focus, but she's added little like labels in her shop. So you can get like, you know, Scentsy stickers for your Scentsy bars. Um, I think you basically just put the name of the bar and she'll type up the notes for you and just how perfect is that? I like love these labels. Um, but she also does this little circle. I have September of 2023. She does little date like stickers also. So you can get some stuff for your Scentsy bars. You can get stuff for your planner. I just wanted to mention Michelle and just kind of showcase her labels. But definitely if you have not checked out Michelle's shop, I'll leave it linked below if you guys need any Scentsy labels. We know Sensi doesn't put the scent notes on here, so how handy is that? I got the scent notes right there. So her shop will be linked below in case anyone is interested. Um, so yeah, this is White Pumpkin and Driftwood. It's White Pumpkin, Driftwood, White Cardamom, and Warm Solar Amber. I've heard a lot of people talk about this one. And yeah, this is unique. It's, it's definitely unique, but it's really, really nice though. I don't know if I've ever had a scent like this. Um, yeah, like to me, this is very almost like earthy, like earthy leaning with that amber, with the driftwood. But I definitely get that pumpkin and like a subtle spice, I'm assuming is the cardamom. It's unique, but I do like this one. Yeah, like it's, oh my goodness. I'm wondering too how some of these will perform on warm. I feel like on cold, you can't always, you know, judge a book by its cover. You kind of have to warm it and sometimes you'll sniff things that you didn't on cold. So yeah, this one intrigues me and I think it'll be really pretty. I think I'm going to try this one in our bedroom like first, just a couple cubes and see how it goes. And then I'll probably go from there, but really happy I got that one to try. Um, and then this one, I, I feel like I've heard mixed reviews on this one. Um, I've heard some people love it. Her, I've heard some people hate it. So I'm like, I don't know what, what's going to happen with this one. But Forever Fall, I thought I would like it. This is Baked Pumpkin, Cinnamon Stick, and Brown Sugar. And I do actually like this one. I am Team Pumpkin all the way. I mean, I love Apple. Don't get me wrong. But I am all Team Pumpkin. So I just felt like I had to throw like another pumpkin bar in here. And yeah, this one, out of the pumpkin scents I've tried from Scentsy, I would have to say that this one is probably the most, like, fresh pumpkin. Like, it almost smells like pumpkin puree. The pumpkin note is different, but I don't hate it. Definitely, I do not hate it. So, baked pumpkin, cinnamon stick, brown sugar. Like it almost kind of smells like you're prepping a pumpkin pie, but you haven't baked the pie yet. That's just what it smells like to me. It smells like the pumpkin pie filling with like, just like that fresh pumpkin puree. And then you kind of added some cinnamon in there. You've added like, yeah, like the brown sugar sweetness. So I get sweet, but I get, like I get all the notes in here, but that's what it reminds me of is literally like, a fresh homemade pumpkin pie minus the crust. <laughs> I think it's pretty. I like it. I'm not opposed. So we shall see. I mean, there's other pumpkin scents. Like I love scary good. That's like a pumpkin one. Um, I've tried pumpkin cinnamon swirl. That's really delicious. So I'm like, I don't know if this is going to be my favorite, favorite pumpkin, but we'll see on warm. Definitely. I'm willing to warm it. We'll see. We'll see how that goes, but I'm really intrigued with that fresh kind of pureed pumpkin note. It's really, really different. This one definitely stood out to me. I love anything that has like an earthy, like fresh, 
like woodsy like leaves like wet leaves or just like outdoors like I love that kind of scent so this one is cashmere leaves and this one has notes of falling leaves crisp apple and cashmere spice this one with smelling it I remember it's straight up just gave me all the fall feels like this one to me is like fall in a bar yeah, this one smells to me like fall in a wax bar. Minus like a pumpkin note, it just has that really, really pretty, oh, like kind of earthy, uh, like the note of earthy, like, you know, fresh fallen leaves. Oh my God, that comes out even more on the bottom. But then you get the apple. It's very like crisp, adds this little sweetness to it. Um, and then you get the spice, the cashmere. It's unique. It's so pretty though. Oh, this one, I can't wait. I'm gonna, I probably wanna try this one in this area, this open area. I hope it works. If you've warmed this, let me know. Open concept, yay or nay. I just, oh, I feel like this would be so pretty. Warming, like while we're kind of just lounging, getting cozy, watching a movie, or just like watching some TV, a football game. Yes, this one just screams cozy to me. Cozy fall and like slightly fresh. <sighs> yeah, it's really, really pretty. Cashmere leaves, I'm a fan. All right, and then these last two were just kind of like random. I wouldn't say wild cards. I think one is kind of a wild card. So the one that's kind of a wild card to me is this one, which is Palo Santa. Palo Santo, Palo Santo, Palo Santo, and cinnamon. I feel like this is different for Scentsy. I feel like you don't see Palo Santo in Scentsy much, like at all. Um, I think there's been one bar that I've heard of that's Palo Santo just by its, like, just straight up Palo Santo. Um, I think it was like a Bring Back My Bar a couple years ago or something. Um, never smelled that bar, but I've heard it's very, very smoky. So I almost kind of wonder how it compares to Around the Campfire. But yeah, so I was a little hesitant because again, I was like, Ugh, if it's too smoky and smells like, you know, like a barbecue, like extra smoky, like over the top, I'm probably not going to like it. But with the cinnamon, I thought, you know what? I think I'm going to like it. I've been into the Palo lately and I love spice and cinnamon. So I was like, let's just give it a, give it a go. And this is actually not that bad. It's kind of like subtly masculine, not cologne, but just like masculine woodsy kind of. And then you get like that spice. Yeah, I like this one. I feel like this might be a blender to me though. I'm gonna blend this one a little bit and see how it goes. Yeah, I don't know how it's gonna go on cold by itself, or not on cold, I'm sorry, on warm by itself. But as a blender, I think this would be beautiful. So the notes on this one, it's Palo Santo, Italian bergamot, clove leaf, and cinnamon bark. So I think there's definitely some extra spice in here. Yeah, like, it's not red hot spice to me, but definitely out of all the bars I've sniffed here, this is probably the most spicy of the bunch, just in my opinion. But it's still really, really pretty though. Yeah, so I just have it in my brain that I want to like blend this with something. I almost wonder how like a tree scent would be with this. I'm trying to think of what tree blends I have. I don't know. I just think this would be really pretty with like a pine, a spruce, balsam. I think that would be really pretty. But if you have that, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know for this one because I think this one is going to be more of a blender. But I still wanted to give it a try just because I know Palo, like I said, it's not really done in Scentsy all that much. So I thought it would be just a good opportunity to try some Palo from Scentsy. All right. And then the last one I got is Frosty Air. And this one's just a stunning, like, baby blue, powder blue kind of color. And this one, you guys, is really pretty. Definitely laundry. And I've heard that from a lot of people that it's kind of not like full on Christmas or like, like holiday, 
Like, to me, I feel like you could warm this any time of year because it leans just kind of fresh laundry. Yeah, this doesn't scream like fall or winter strictly to me. I think you could definitely do this one at any time of the year. So this one I may try at some point here soon, but I might even wait until spring and summer. I'm not really sure. If I'm feeling this scent, I totally will pull it in now. I don't know. We'll see. This one, it's not bad by any means, but I guess it to me just doesn't scream Christmas or holiday. I don't know why. Um, but the notes on this one, it's sweet citrus, lily of the valley, and frosty air. It is really pretty though. Like it's a pretty like fresh kind of floral laundry. Yeah, it's laundry. <laughs> That's like all I can say about it. It's definitely laundry. But it's not a bad scent though. It just out of all of these is probably like the one that's like the least fave of the bunch, but still not a bad scent. I just, I don't know. I guess I, I watched videos of people talking about this scent prior to my order. So I kind of knew going into it, but I still wanted to try it. So yeah, we'll see about this one. I don't know. It's not bad, but it's not as festive as I thought it was going to be. All right. So the last item I have here is the brick that I decided to go with. I didn't know if this was going to be part of your like club. Like if you could do like the half price, I didn't know that this brick would be offered as one of the bricks you could get for half off, but I saw it was. So I was like, okay, let's just, we're going to get that one. I thought this would be a good one to have on hand. This is Christmas cottage. And yeah, my label showed up a little bubbly. I don't know why that is, but it's not really going to bug me all that much. It's mainly, I'm more you know, focused on the wax here um, and it's not broken or anything. It's just the label's a little bubbled up here, but really not a big deal. So we have a Christmas cottage. So I think right now you could get Christmas cottage, pumpkin roll, or very snowy spruce, I think. These are some of the ones that came out for like this fall kind of season here. I think there's actual holiday bricks coming out at some point too, but I just thought this one sounded really good. And I've heard, I think this one, I think is a bestseller. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but the notes just sounded really good. So this one, to me, it sounded, sounded really good. This is a Valencia orange, raspberries, clove, and spices. Yeah, it's really pretty. Oh, yeah, you get the orange, you get the raspberry. Oh, totally just broke it. That's nice, Krista. I just broke it. That's cute. Oh, but you get the spice. It kind of smells like mulling spices or something. Like this scent just takes me back to like when I was a young kid and my mom would have like cinnamon stick, you know, scents going like cinnamon, strong, spicy. She was always into like cinnamon candles and like spicy stuff. And like, I got that from her. I feel like I still to this day enjoy a spicy kind of candle, sometimes in the fall, even in the winter. Yeah, this is so pretty. This literally just kind of gives me a scent memory, honestly, of my mom. <laughs> so I think I'm definitely going to chop this uh, brick up. And I think I'm going to kind of, you know, share some with my family. I think my sister will like this. I think my mom especially will like this bar. So that's kind of another reason why I got it. I thought it would be a scent that, you know, I could share and I don't have to, you know, worry about it too much and like focus all of this on my own. I could kind of, you know, share the wealth a little bit and get some of this bar uh, divvied up between some of us here in my family. So Happy to get this. I think it's definitely very festive. I'm excited to finally try that scent because that's a new scent to me. Um, but that is my haul, my Scentsy haul. I've, I'm very excited. Um, I will hopefully get to some of these this fall and winter. We shall see, but I'll definitely report back to you guys, obviously in my empties and stuff like that. Um, again, if you guys have any feedback on some of these melts here, um, you know, any blending suggestions or if you have warmed them, what spaces do you recommend I, you know, warm these in? 
I'm dying to hear some feedback from you guys. I appreciate any feedback. But that is the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you have not already, be sure to subscribe, like the video, comment down below. I'd love to connect with you guys. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.